I found this old table at the warehouse and it was clearly broken and missing one of the legs. Rather than throwing it away, I had seen something on Pinterest that I thought I would try. I'd actually seen it just a couple days earlier and so I was almost a little excited to find this broken table. The base was longer than I needed it to be, so I decided to use my miter saw to trim it down. Ideally, I would have used either a jigsaw or better yet, the bandsaw, but unfortunately, it was in a place where I just couldn't get to it. We're still unpacking, so I'm trying to make do with the tools that we have access to. I can see the way you're sitting quietly. your heart out of your chest I'm screaming help me forget all about today my brain is filled with mercury but it doesn't even matter now that my base is cut I'm going to move on to the next part which is taking this doily that we got from one of the estates that we've been cleaning out and cutting it in half and then the next part is to make it a little less pristine. I don't necessarily want this super rustic, but I don't want it bright white either. So to dye it, I'm gonna use old coffee grounds. This is the coffee from this morning, and I'm putting it into some water and I'm just gonna heat it up. I'm gonna put it on high and I'm gonna put my fabric right in there and then let it boil for about 20 minutes and then just let it cool in the water. And you'll see that the um, doily becomes a much nicer color for what I'm working on. And so while that's on the stove, I'm going to go ahead and get to painting. Everything is painted with DIY paint in vintage linen. Um, and I'm using my S50 Klingon brush, which is my favorite. And you can find these on our website at vintagebdesign.com. For the head of the angel, since my table is a little short, I am using a little wooden ball-like thing that comes with the florals that you get. It's like a potpourri mix that you can get at um, like TJ Maxx or at home, someplace like that. That'll be the little round head that I'm using. I happen to have this sitting around and it was perfect for me. But something about you makes me feel at home. Help me forget about today. I was hoping I could sit with you. She's lighting up the way I've had in front of me. And so I've gone ahead and put the doilies in the dryer. They don't really smell like coffee unless you put your nose right up in there. So I just need them to be completely 100% dry before I can use them in my project. And so while they're drying in the dryer, I'm just going to go ahead and take some 220 grit sandpaper and give all of this a good sanding. I want the just sort of knock off the edges. I'm not looking for a lot more than that. I will on the more curved pieces. Um, do a little bit heavier sanding. You could wet distress this if you want, especially because this had a neutral color underneath that I don't mind showing through a little bit. I still like the sandpaper method. I find that sometimes I go a little crazy with the wet distressing and I take off too much, which then I know you can just add again, but I really wanted light distressing for this. So it was just better for me to go ahead and use the 220 grit sandpaper. And so next I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue glue sticks and just hot glue this little top onto my base. So when I put it on there, I want to be sure that I get all of the additional glue off. I wait for it just a little bit to cool off and then just sort of basically wipe it off with my fingers and pick at it until it is cleaned perfectly. Next up, I'm going to work on some embellishments for my angel. So I have some dollar store ribbon. I really love this ribbon. I use it a lot. I kind of actually ordered online by the case. And so I just kind of have it a length and then I'm folding it in half. I'm going to wrap my key around it, do an overhand knot on the end and just use it as a necklace for my angel. I can see the way you're sitting quietly. You look a little lonely with your heart out of your 
chest I'm screaming help me forget all about today my brain is filled with mercury but it doesn't even matter with nothing but illusions I can be so cynical but something about you makes me feel I've decided I would like a little garland wreath around her head and so I am just taking some Christmas greenery that I have in my stash and making a little circle with it wrapping it around I'll use some hot glue to kind of keep it together and then I will hot glue on some of these little tiny baby flowers She's lighting up the way I've had in front of me With different shades of burgundy Her lips are softly closing in on mine so My angel wings are finally dry. You can see they are a nice almondy color. And what I'm going to do is fold it in half and then glue the center part down first. Do not start with the edge of the wings. It will create a problem for you later. So start at the center and then sort of work your way in much like you would do upholstery on a chair. We want to make sure this has a good sort of not really pleating, but nice little ruffly edges. So start in the middle and you work your way out. Then take me back from where I came cause it doesn't matter now we're nothing but But something about you makes me feel confused My head's way up in the blue Help me forget about what's been So I can let you in And hear the noises fade And angels begin to sing The very last step is to add some more of that dollar store ribbon and I am just gonna kind of put it at the top so that it completes that edge and ties it off nicely no roughly frayed edges on the end and then we are completely done If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps out and um, be sure to tell your friends. I really appreciate it when you comment on things or you share my posts. That helps a lot also. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used, please check out our website, vintagebedesign.com, where we also have a lot of fun at Cottage Core, uh, French country summer fashion, which I love. Um, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.